Hello and welcome to a little rant on Blender's extrude system. So I teach a small class and one of the most common problems is that students will be extruding stuff and oops, the extrusion might be positive or it might be inside out and it's sort of hard to tell. And a lot of times the student will have a bunch of these extrusions, for example. So let's say we have one here. Oops, this one's inside out. And then another one. Oh no. And then another one. Oh wait, this one came out good. Oh well. So it seems kind of random, right? But the problem is the student doesn't even know if they don't have back face calling on. They have no clue that these are inside out. And so this creates some issues later on and confusion. Um, when we're doing operations that require all these uh, all these guys to be flipped right side out. Now we can always select them and go Control N to um, let me turn that back on. Control N to reset the normals, but that's very annoying and it's it's we shouldn't have to do that and keep track of that every single time we do a simple extrude. So this script is designed to combat this problem, and it's very simple. All it does is when we're extruding the wrong way, oh, it automatically fixes our normals for us. And just with that, it's, it's already, we are saving a lot of headaches for the students. So the other cool thing about this um, extrude is that it's context sensitive. So it checks what you have selected and it does a different operation depending on what you have selected. So for example, um, for faces, if we have a loop of faces, it's gonna do a special extrude and push instead of extrude and move, which would be like um, more like this. So I assume that when we have a loop selected, like for example, let's say we have a cylinder here and let's say we are um, gonna extrude this loop. I assume we wanna go outwards, right? Since we have the loop. So that's what this script will do for you. And it, it's, it, it, uh, kind of assumes certain things and hopefully they're they are good assumptions but 90% of the time this is what I'm I'm using it for the other cool thing is when we're in edges mode we have uh, a different operation so if I do the same command I get an extrude move instead of an extrude push because when we have edges selected I do not want to be pushing I'd rather just be moving so that's the kind of context that I'm talking about. Also for edges, we have um, with the same exact command, we don't have to use any menus or any different commands. It's all under the same key, under the same command. And it knows that we're in, in uh, verts mode and it's gonna extrude verts. Um, the other cool thing is if we have nothing selected, and this works in any different selection mode, if we have nothing selected and we, and we press the same key, same command, we get a vert in space which we can then draw with, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of a all-in-one, do everything, fix normals. Um, you could even, like if you had some previous uh, extrusions with the normal, with the regular Blender extrude that were flipped inside out, you could grab it and do another extrude with, the, with this uh, enhanced extrude and it will fix the normals for you. So anyway, I hope, uh, I hope this is useful to you guys. This is available for free on the Heavy Poly config. And I think, um, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments, if you think this is stupid or if it's a, it's a good improvement. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, if you guys are using this stuff, um, please let me know if you have any suggestions. And I hope you enjoy it. Bye.